Hello everyone, today we are going to implement two floating action buttons with the plugin Flutter Speed Dial. And one button is for the reason that we want to show some color and pick a color over this action button, like it is shown here on the bottom. And the other one is responsible for showing a number and selecting a different kind of number. The first thing we do, we go to pubdartling.org type in flutter speed dial and then go to the installing section. Then we copy this dependency here and paste it into our dependencies like I did here. And we also take this import statement here and put it in another directory. We call it color speed dial. And we copy it here inside. And another thing we want to do is directly to begin here with the scaffold. We have here a property which is called floating action button. And here we don't have to supply a floating action button directly. We go with multiple. So instead of typing only one, we go with the row so we can pass multiple floating action buttons and here we just pass this widget inside the color speed dial and import it here and another thing we want to create here in widgets in widgets we create the stroke speed dial and here we also import the statement here like so. In the directory model we create a speed dial entry with a color and a string label and in the data file we create a list of speed dial entries of the model which we created and pass some sample data in our cases some colors and the title which is for this color. And I also created a stroke whistle list with the numbers for the second floating action button. The first thing we do is to go to our color speed dial and extend it to a stateful widget. Then we create a new method which is called speed dials child. And here we create an object speed dial child which is provided by our plugin. And here we just pass some data inside. First of all, a circular avatar, so it's like a circle container where we can provide a background color and we supply it with the color as parameter. And we have also a background color which we set. We set a little bit style for the label text which we later see and also our label which we get as parameter here. And another thing we want to have is an untap function where we provide our color and set the state to the current color. We also call this unselected function here and pass our color inside to provide our outer world what we selected here. The next thing we do is to build here an init state method where we set our current color to speed dots, which we created here as objects. And we take the first object, which is in this case the color blue, and set it here as default colors. In the build method we create a speed dial which is provided by the plugin. We say something like overlay opacity which is shown here. I will create it first of all. So you have here kind of an overlay. You can also set here background color what we are not going to do. So I set it here to overlay opacity 0 so that we have no thing here otherwise it would look different like this. That's not what we want to have. <laughs> Another thing is we set the background color of this beginning state here to current color, which is the initial state blue. And yeah, we say to visible. We have here an animation curve, which handles how this is animated. Like you see, it's animated this kind of avatar charts. And another thing we want to set is the children property where we 
take our speed dials, the list of speed dial entries, and map them to our widget, which we have created here below. So they will create these little avatar charts. And here we just provide the color of the entry, which we got from our speed dials here, and also the label. Actually, if we press on one of these floating action buttons, the color will change because we gave this on tap function to our floating action button. And here we just set the color new every time we select a different color. In our stroke speed dial, we actually do the same thing. So we create here a stateful widget, pass a function insight on selected so that we can later give our number to the outer world. And then we have a current stroke width as our state. And the first thing we do is to create here a init state method where we set one of these values, in this case, the first value to the current stroke width. And here we could just create another speed dial child, which is our widget. Almost the same, we have a label style, we have an untap method, a background color which is set to primary color. And here we have also a circle avatar like before, only that we this time pass here that we want to show a text instead of just the background color. And here we also have an untap method. Every time we tap on a new number later, we will set this new stroke width and we also provide our outer world with this new value. So we call this unselected function, which we declared at the beginning. And the last thing we do is to create a speed dial, which is provided by the plugin. We have here an overlay opacity, which we again set to zero so that there's no overlay in the background. A background color of primary color, which is the beginning color here. So I will just create it here. Let's see how it looks like. Actually, we have to also implement it here. So stroke speed dial. And now save it again. Now we have this number. And here we have these numbers. And if we select a different kind of number, we select it as our child here and also provide our outer world with this value. In our children property, we have here our stroke width list with all the numbers one, two, four, eight, and we map them to our widget again and provide it as a list. And then we show all these one, two, four, eight numbers, and we can every time select a different number here. Another thing we want to see is that we have here an error because the untap function here is not provided. So we need actually to go to our main. In the main file, we have to provide this parameter here in both cases. And in this case, we get not a color, we get a number or a stroke width. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!